For anyone who doesn't work in the field of veterinary medicine, the job can seem like heaven, spending your days with animals, getting licks and head bonks from furry creatures. But on the job stress has been on the rise in veterinarians in recent decades. Veterinarians have a high suicide risk and poor well being, even compared to other high risk professions. There are also high rates of mental health stigma in the field, which can prevent treatment seeking. But to date, tactics for enhancing well being in veterinary medicine um, have lacked evidence based approaches. Together, this has resulted in a mental health disparity in the field of veterinary medicine, which is the wicked problem that our team is working on. Our team has spent several years working with our primary stakeholders to identify factors underlying this problem and collect systematic data to better understand it. Based on that work, we knew that emotional reactivity was a key issue that should be targeted. So we developed a program that uses an acceptance and commitment training framework, an ACT framework, to target reactivity to issues that frequently arise in the field. Now, with support from clinical scholars, we're bringing our program directly to veterinary clinics in our community. The goals of our project are to reduce mental health stigma, stress, and burnout in veterinary medicine across Northeast Ohio, but more broadly to change approaches to mental health and wellness in the field. To this end, we're bringing our three hour program, one hour per week for three weeks, which is a practical hands-on application of ACT tailored to veterinary medicine to people working in the field. The figure in the middle shows the ACT framework. The six components of ACT combine to help an individual find ways to deal with difficult thoughts, feelings, and urges. It encourages mindful presence and emotional acceptance of distress and gives techniques to unhook from thoughts, feelings, and urges. We then help our program attendees understand the role their own values play in the distress they experience and gives them a foundation for them to take intentional action that aligns with their own individual values. And that enables a person to respond to difficult situations in ways that facilitate meaning and fulfillment instead of just reacting in the moment, which might exacerbate their distress. In the photo above, you can see two of our team members in action running the program face to face. During the pandemic, we also developed a remote version of the program. By using an evidence based framework and placing this program in the context of the research that has led up to it, we hope to get through to attendees whose prior exposure to wellness was a workplace HR person telling them to enjoy a bubble bath or light some candles and listen to calming music. We want to tackle stigma about mental health interventions by showing that they can be founded on solid research. And by putting tools to decrease reactivity in their hands, we're hoping to help them reduce their own levels of stress and burnout. On the far right, you can see our results to date. We've worked with 20 clinics and more than 200 veterinary healthcare team members. Many of them completed measures for research at a pre-program baseline, one week after the program ended, and again at follow-up one month later. On average, after completing our program, people rated it at about four and a half out of five in terms of usefulness. They also reported using the skills that we taught them approximately four and a half times per day. Below that, you can see figures showing significant reductions in mental health stigma, stress, and both work and client-related burnout in those who participated in the program, shown by the solid blue line, compared to those randomly assigned to participate in the program after measures were collected, shown by the, black, uh, the dotted black line. We will continue to work with our veterinary hospitals and continue rolling out the program in the manner that it was originally designed. However, we want to work towards sustainability and scalability. So our team's next steps are to create an e-learning version that's similar to live learning, potentially then with real live follow-up. And we're working with a nationwide veterinary corporate group to bring that to their staff. If that proves successful, the ultimate goal would then be to partner with a larger organization such as the AVMA to broadly disseminate the e-learning version and really maximize our reach.